I love romantic comedies, they failed us. You should not be prioritizing falling in love with somebody else until you have learned to fall in love with yourself. Did I really write this? It's very cliche. Anyways, society have really clung on to this vague concept of self-love, self-care to promote their image. <clears throat> but no one ever bothers to break it down for us. So what is self-love? Self-love is having the utmost appreciation for yourself and all that you have to offer. It's not a luxury, but a need, because the foundation of happiness, success, and beauty is really impossible without it. And here's why. When you hold yourself to a high regard, there's a domino effect that impacts every layer of your life. Work, friendships, family, even that critic that's living rent-free in your head. It's as simple as when you're confident, you're more likely to take that leap and perform better. Not to mention you set yourself up for better connections with people that could open up more opportunities that maybe would not have been there had you not believed in yourself. But it's easier said than done. The reality is we face growing pressure every day because we are living in a time of hashtag fitspo, hashtag skin goals, hashtag wonderlusting. But you would be surprised how accepting yourself, your edges, and your quirks can outshine all of that pressure and negative self-talk. In saying that, it's important to note, self-love is not an excuse to be resistant to change either, especially if that change is for the better. For example, if you have a bad or unhealthy habit that needs work, you should recognize that loving yourself means working on them. In short, self-love is not an overnight thing. But a great first step is recognizing that the true building blocks to happiness, success, and true beauty is really caring about oneself. I'm Natalie Hussein here to remind you that you are you, I am me. Let's embrace our quirks so that we can one day rise up to be the inspiration we always looked for in others.